Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. First, the highlights. Zamfara state government accuses Matawali administration of embezzling billions of naira. Suspected phone snatchers kill youth corps member in Kaduna. AKT Governor Biodun Oyebanji gives account of stewardship. Zamfara State Governor Dauda Lawal has alleged that administration of Velo Matawale embezzled billions of naira from the Zamfara airport, which was subsequently abandoned. The government accused the previous administration of a dubious transaction of over 6 billion naira for an abandoned cargo airport project in the state capital. Spokesperson of the governor, Suleiman Bala Idris, said the Lawal's administration will bring those responsible for the financial recklessness to justice. A female National Youth Service Corps member, Grace Charlia Silas, has been reportedly killed by a gang suspected to be phone snatchers in Kaduna State. TVC News gathered that she was attacked while jogging in the Banawa area where she was stabbed and her phone was stolen. The spokesperson for the Kaduna State Police, Manir Asan, confirmed the incident on Thursday, emphasizing that the police are actively pursuing the corporates. But then YSC and residents of the state are demanding justice for the heinous act of violence. Ekutu State Governor Biodun Yebanji says he has improved in agriculture, electrification, employment opportunities and economic development of the state in the one year of his administration. Governor Yebanji said this while presenting the state of the state stewardship as governor of the state at the Ekutu State House of Assembly Complex. Mr. Yebanji noted that he came to office on the promise of shared prosperity for Ekutu people, tackling infrastructure decay and developing the economy. He said he's delivered on his mandate of enhancing the status of the state in good governance, agriculture and rural development, art and culture, education department and quality health care delivery, which are the pillar of his administration. Nigerian youths have been advised to look in the direction of vocational skills and small-scale businesses that can help them generate money as government alone cannot provide employment for all. The member representing Abeokuta South at the Federal House of Representatives, Afolabi Afuakwe, made this known during a vocational skills and empowerment program for young people in his constituency. The lawmaker said the only way to reduce poverty in the land and create more employment opportunities is to support the youth to be self-employed and become employers of labor.